What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival of All video. So patch 242 is just around the corner, scheduled to be released on the 30th of May. The next update has so many new features, additions and mechanics that we're all looking forward to. We can expect to see the two new dinos which is the Diplodocus and the Leech, as well as the new mechanic which allows permanent diseases and cures, for example player contagious swamp fever. There is also a biome update which is adding the new snow extension as well as the new redwood forests. And the third and final arena which is the dragon arena as well as ruins and explorer notes. In addition to all of those there are a few slight different server option changes, a whole load of stuff for private servers and private games and a possible chance we might be able to see a breeding mechanics phase 2. This consists of random baby mutations, family trees and interactive baby raising. Anyway, today's video is going to be primarily around the two new dinos which is the leech and the diplodocus. So we can all expect to see the leech in the next update, its temperament is passive aggressive however it cannot be tamed. Although the temperament is passive aggressive it does not mean it's in a passive aggressive tame. It cannot be tamed due to, how, due to its lack of intelligence and it is mainly used to farm a certain resource. Its diet is a sanguinivore, I think that's how you pronounce it, sanguinivore, I'm not too sure, but that basically means it's a blood drinker, which is, we all pretty much know that anyway. In the wild, due to its lack of intelligence, it literally sticks to any living creature that happens to come near it, so if you have pet dinos that are in the water near some leeches, it might stick onto them, as well as you if you're in a swamp, so I'd be particularly careful in swamps. They do carry a lot of bad effects when you get bit by one of these and I'll move on to that in just one moment. Removing a leech once it's stuck to you is not really difficult, it's just kind of unusual. It requires precision blade work, so a sword I'd imagine, which you'd have to kind of hit them off you. I will show a screenshot in a second showing what they look like once they're stuck on you and how you'd remove them. You can also burn them off with an access to an open flame. The dossier does show a guy sticking a torch into his chest on a leech burning it off but campfires might work as well but don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure. Now leeches are extremely extremely dangerous. Once they have attached you they will reduce your blood at a rapid pace. Not only that they'll also strike you for hunger as well as a massive loss of health and lowered stamina. It's going to be very commonly known that the leeches carry a very dangerous disease called swamp fever. This is going to be added in with the new uh, diseases and cures part of the update which is definitely going to change the way you survive. It's going to make the game a lot more difficult especially for new players because you know if you get bit by one of these guys kind of early in the game and you're not really high enough level to get any of the better technology you can't really cure yourself you can't make any of the concoctions to make the medicine so it's going to make living at a, as a newbie to the game at a lot lower level much more difficult. It does state that the disease sticks with you permanently until you have crafted and taken a very rare medicine. Now I'm not too sure if this applies to like respawns because obviously you're going to be able to get out of this disease very easily just by killing yourself and respawning on your bed. It's as simple as that. However, it might transfer over your character data onto your respawned character and if that's the case then you're desperately going to want to start looking for a cure, getting this rare medicine to get rid of this disease. These things can't be tamed unfortunately because if you could tame them I'm pretty sure they'd be pretty awesome raiding someone's base, chuck a few of them in their base, you know they're all they've all got a disease straight away, they're all draining blood, it would be pretty OP if we had a little pack of these guys. However, their lack of intelligence does not allow them to be tamed, they are basically just too stupid to be tamed, they, have, they don't really have a brain at all, they just kind of bite things and that's it, that's all they're good for, biting things. However, you can farm these guys, you can process their venom and turn it into a powerful anti-venom which could probably be used on many other different diseases, not just curing this one, that's even if it can cure this one, I'm not too sure, but we can expect to see these guys being farmed for medicines and stuff for future diseases to be added into the game. Okay guys, last but not least we have the Diplodocus, this is a pretty short video, I'm just going to be covering these two dinos, that's all we need to cover really. 
Um, I might do another video once the update gets released covering all the other little minor little bug fixes and all. But for now, this is like the main priority. These are the two new big things everyone's excited for. Especially the Diplodocus because I found out something today over on Reddit to do with its saddle which is pretty damn cool. And it doesn't state it on the dossier. So the Diplodocus is a herbivore which is obvious. Um, it follows down the same line as the Bronto and a lot of the other herbivores. Its temperament is naive, I think is how you say it. It's naive, naive, not naive. No, yeah, it's definitely naive. For those of you who do not know what naive means, it is basically the lack of intelligence or innocent. It's a very innocent dinosaur. It doesn't really think much. It doesn't really understand why it's alive or what its purpose is. It kind of just eats, walks around, and is very intel um, not intelligent. It's very, very stupid. I think that's the clearest way I could put it. Once fully matured, this dino, the Diplodocus, is two-thirds the size of a Bronto, um, so it's obviously not as big as the Bronto, it's kind of small compared to all the other giant big dinos we can expect to see in the future, like the Titanosaur for example. Now, the Diplodocus is a very, very confusing creature, it is so, so friendly that it wants to love every creature and everything on the island, and I'm saying that because it, like, if a pack of raptors attacked this guy, it would sit there and take it. It wouldn't run, it wouldn't retaliate, it would sit there and die. It's pr pretty much what it does. So it usually doesn't flee from predators until after they've attacked it repeatedly. So, you know, if a pack of raptors attacked it, they'd get a good couple of hits in before it starts to realise, oh shit, I'm getting attacked, and starts to fight back. But due to its lack of intelligence, it's just basically going to sit there, look at whatever's killing it, and not give a crap at all. But for some reason, this thing absolutely loves the human race. It loves human beings no matter how bad we are. As human beings, we are absolutely terrible. We have ruled the Ark, we've destroyed things, we've captured dinosaurs, absolutely deforestation to the max. We have just destroyed so many forests, blown up so many things. It's just insane what we've done to this island. However, this dinosaur persists to love us. It is so stupid and loves us so much that taming one of these guys is probably going to be the easiest thing ever. Literally, you could just walk up to this guy and shoot it in the side of arrows. It will not run away, it will not retaliate, it will just sit there and take it until you knock it out. So, in my opinion, it's going to be a very easy tame, which is always good as it does have um, very good weight. It's going to be used for transporting people, a lot of people actually. Not It's more than three, the dossier just, just state three people. However, I have found one particular screenshot over on the Reddit. Thanks to the developer Jeremy, and it does show that you can have a lot more people, which I'll get to in just one second. Um, it's going to be very good at carrying weight, like I just said. I don't know what the weight's going to be like on it. I'd imagine it'll be something similar to a Rex, because Rex stock weight is around 500 or about around 450 to 500. I doubt it's going to be as powerful as the Quetz, but it's going to be a pretty high value, unlike all the other dinosaurs, which average to be about 150 to 300. So domesticated or tamed, this thing's a lot smaller to the Brontos and Mosasaur for example, so you cannot unfortunately have a build on saddle, but that's not too much of a problem, we've already got three dinos in the game with build on saddles and the Titanosaur is definitely going to have a build on saddle, I've already seen a few pictures of the saddles and stuff about that, but we'll get cover that in a different video in another time. Its saddle however can support multiple riders. Now. This is the interesting part. The dossier says it can hold up to three people. That's one rider and two people on the side, on each side, with ranged weapons protecting it. However, this should be on it, an image on the screen right now. Um, I found this image over on Reddit and it was actually posted on Twitter by Jeremy. Uh, I think he's one of the lead developers of Ark. I'm not too sure. I don't really look into their staff and their team or anything. But it shows that you can have 11 riders on that saddle. There's five riders on each side and then there's the one, you know, piloting rider in the center, which is obviously going to be moving the dino around and everybody else on the side is just going to be there with weapons covering it, protecting it. Um, I'm not too sure if there's going to be two different saddles. There might be the stock saddle, which allows three people as standard. And then they might add a second saddle, which allows the 11 people, which would be pretty cool for PvE servers, you can imagine you're having your own dino taxi business, it's going to be pretty cool having a lot of your guys just sitting on the side of your dino. Um, on a server I play, I know there's one particular tribe that have 15 members in it, and 
To be honest, if I saw those guys go into raid someone with a Diplodocus and them all sitting on the side with rocket launchers and machine guns, I'd laugh so much. I could just imagine that now. It'd be such a hilarious sight to see a Diplodocus marching towards your base with just hundreds, just so many people just stuck on the back of the saddle, just there with grenades, bombs, everything, guns. It's just going to be such a funny sight to see. And it's going to be very interesting in terms of raiding, if it is used in raiding, that is. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes this video, that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video, that's the two new dinos, the leech and the diplodocus, I briefly covered a few of the patch notes that we can ex uh, of the other features that are going to be added into the game in the next patch, that is the diseases, uh, possible map changes, and possibly breeding mechanics phase 2, however those things do take a lot longer in development, even though they stick it on the latest patch note, they tend to just cut the patch notes in half and bring them in on a later update as they need more work but we can definitely expect to see the two new dinos and the diseases in the next patch with swamp fever remember guys stay out the swamps those leeches are going to be absolutely terrifying and are going to absolutely devastate you once like if you're across the map you get bit by one of those things you're going to want to rush home as quickly as possible because they do so much damage in like in the long run anyway they well, you can imagine just having five of those guys stuck to you. It's going to take a very long time to get them off as they rapidly decrease all your stamina and health and food like that. So you're going to want to rush home and especially if they get your pterodons. Pterodons, if they jump onto a pterodon, we all know how low health a pterodon has. Especially if it's not a high level perfect team. If you've got like a level 50 pterodon, they only have about 100 to about 300 health. Depends if you skill health or not, but I know the base health is about 100 to roughly 300. And considering they rapidly drain health, that pterodon's not going to last very long at all. It also didn't state that you could, uh, diseases would infect dinos. It only stated that it would infect humans. However, there is a possible chance that it will infect dinos. I am not too sure, so don't quote me on that. We're just going to have to wait and see for the actual update to be released and see what the game's like after the update but guys like i said that is pretty much it for this video i have nothing else to talk about that is all i wanted to get out in this video I just want to thank you all so so much for watching and thanks so much for all the support on the latest videos um you guys are so supportive especially to my good pooptopia friends the pooptopia server you guys are awesome keep producing amazing content and those comments keep them coming they're absolutely amazing so guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I love you all so much. And subscribe if you're new to the channel for more ARK Survival Evolved content. I'll see you all in the next video.